So I've had quite a few friends reach out to me and say, I bought all these vegetables and now I don't know what to do with them. They're getting ready to go bad. Maybe you're not cooking as many veggies as you thought you would at home. I know I'm not, I'm cooking cookies. So <laughs> no veggies for me, but I thought, why not pickle them? We can pickle our veggies and we're not wasting them and we have them on hand. So I'm gonna show you a really quick um, refrigerator pickle that you can do with cucumbers, but you can also do this with carrots, you can do it with green beans, you can do it with onions, you can do it with asparagus, you can do it with beets. The sky's kind of the limit. I'm gonna create a quick pickling liquid that you can cook on your stove top. So I've got about a cup of white vinegar and we are going to do a half cup of apple cider vinegar. If you have rice vinegar, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, any of those at home, that's totally okay. And I'm also gonna do a cup of water and two tablespoons of salt. This is pickling, so you need a lot of salt to really saturate whatever vegetable you're using. So don't be alarmed by your amount of salt. Two tablespoons of salt. I've got some whole peppercorns here, about a half of a teaspoon. And I'm gonna do some crushed pepper flakes, about a quarter of a teaspoon. If you like it spicy, do more. If you want hot pickles, then use more pepper flakes for heat. And I'm gonna do about a half teaspoon of mustard seed. And we are going to do some whole cloves of garlic. With these, you just gotta get them out of the peel. You do not actually have to mince them or use a garlic press with them. So I've got four good size garlic cloves just removing their skin and dropping them into my liquid here. So you need about a half a cup of sugar. Just regular old white sugar. We need something to cut the acidity from all that vinegar we're doing. And then I'm going to add two bay leaves. And I've got a sprig of fresh dill. If you do not have fresh dill and all you have is dried dill right now, that's okay. Go ahead and put in about a half a tablespoon of dried dill. Okay, so I want this to come to a bubble. So I'm gonna put it on medium high heat. And while I'm waiting on that to come to a bubble, I'm going to cut up my cucumber. As soon as it comes to a boil, just turn it off and just let it sit there till it cools, about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I've got my cucumbers in an airtight container. I'm going to pour my liquid along with all of the goodness that we put in it, all our seeds, our flakes, our leaves, just leave all of that in there. We'll put a lid on it. And I hate to break it to you guys, but you gotta wait four days before you can chow down on these amazing pickles. But I promise it will totally be worth the wait. Besides, we've got time, don't we? Thanks guys for watching. Alyssa, I miss you. See ya.